Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another instalment of the Stuart Turner High Speed Steam Engine Fiasco. I mean, rebuild or refurbish even. If you watched last night's nightcap, I did mention the Patreon page. The Patreon page is now up and running, and the link for it is in the description box to this video. Feel free to click the link, have a look if you want to sponsor us or be a Patreon. By all means, do so. If you don't, by all means, don't. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get on and see what sort of problems we can find with this little engine this week. These are the side plate doors or crankcase covers that go on there. They held them with a, a, a bar and a bolt in the centre, a bit like a mud hole door and a steam boiler. What I want to do is make sure that this oil pump is working in supplying oil to all the bearings. So I'm going to make a couple of gaskets for this. In fact, I'm going to make two joints for these. So I can put some oil in there and I'll probably end up getting a big electric drill just to spin the crank up and I want to see the oil come out of the big end journal before I go any further. Uh, I'm not paranoid about oil, but I want to make sure it is right. So I'm going to cut two joints out of this piece of paper. This is 0.8 mil thick, it's decent stuff. My hands are just probably the right dirtiness just to rub around and you could cut it with scissors but I'm going to knock it out with a little old paint hammer because it's actually quicker. I'm just using the sharp corner of the the part to get a, a perfectly cut joint. Right, so that's the centre cut out. We'll keep those bits for smaller joints. So it's not wasted because this stuff's not cheap, it's quite expensive, decent joint material. Right, that's it. One nicely formed joint. I think that should be thick enough to seal that because it is a nice flat face on the engine cylinder block. And it's got the Stuart logo on there. These are nice castings, these. It's quite clever how these are held in place. There's a T-bar goes through there like that with a, a nut on the end. That goes inside there through a slot. You turn it and line it up. And you simply tighten that up with it lined up in the centre and that's it. Secured into place. We get a spanner that fits that. So that's it held in place just with the one, the one nut like that. So go down a little bit. And this will stop the oil from spewing everywhere. 
same on the other side. They look nice when I paint it as well. It's going dark in there now. There's the one I made earlier. These were all cleaned off and the vapor rust has made a, a real good job of them. Simple but very effective idea. And the steam boiler, the work the other way, you've got the T bar on the outside, so the boiler pressure is pushing on the door all the time from the inside. This one's putting a lot more. Stood through the needle, I don't know why. You go the way the clamp up. But that's going to stop the oil from spraying everywhere. When we do come to try the oil pump again, I like it. In the last video, we proved that the oil pump worked. I've removed the cross shafts in the little oil pump drive cam. I'm going to put some oil in the engine and I'm going to pump the pump by hand just to make sure that oil is flowing through the crankshaft and coming out of the big end journal. I've got a little bit of car engine oil here, I'm sure I'll do the job. Just enough to cover that oil pickup pipe, which is there. Let's start the lift oil there now you can feel the, I can feel the resistance on it. And the oil's running down through the, the side glass there. Right. If we keep on pumping it should eventually fill the, the crankshaft with oil. Go here. I've got oil everywhere again. It's possible I've got a little bit of dirt on one of the check balls in the pump because it's not pumping like it should be. It's actually blowing back out of the I'm back out of the end there, sucking and blowing so it's not, not pumping. This is what I wanted to make sure wasn't going to happen. Maybe I'll have to drain the oil back out of it and 
Have a little investigate and see that oil pump. It just takes a little bit of shit on one of the one of the springs to cause it. Isn't pumping like it's supposed to. Right, we'll drain the oil. Oh, you bastard, you. Oil everywhere. Lovely. Right, we'll take the pump off and have a look and see her there. It's definitely bypassing the one of the check valves. It's working properly. Right, so there's the various little balls and springs. It just takes one little Partly gonna crap the spoil the whole job. That's nice that brown spring, it's lovely. I'll take this pipe off, take the relief valve off and wash it all out with brake cleaner. Make sure all the little ports are clean. A little ball out of the oil pressure relief valve. Right.
It's all looks clean in there, but it's not going to take very much to stop it all working. Certainly nothing to, to see in there. All the little seats look good. Made sure I had a big spring in there. The balls are all the same size. Ah, right, we've got an issue here. That. That bit of pitting on that ball, that's all it would take to stop the pump working. I didn't notice that when I um, put it back together. And I showed you some new balls. That's good. I mean, at least I found the reason why it was, it was blown back. If that little bit of damage there was on the seat, it would just bypass it and that would cause all the problems. I don't think I've got any balls. Well, I've got lots of balls, like, I suppose. Well, as much as I've got enough balls to do the job, but I haven't got any steel balls that size. I'm sure I'll be able to find some at work from an old bearing. I've got some smaller ones, but I've got none that size. Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another installment of the Stuart Turner high-speed steam engine fiasco, I mean rebuild or refurbish even. If you watched last night's nightcap, I did mention the Patreon page. The Patreon page is now up and running and the link for it is in the description box to this video. Feel free to click the link, have a look if you want to sponsor us or be a Patreon. By all means do so. If you don't, by all means don't. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get on and see what sort of problems we can find with this little engine this week. <laughs> 